Welcome to my Dark Side of the Rings top five episodes from season one and season two. Here we go! Let's get into the action, baby! Number five, The Assassination of Dino Bravo, aired April 21st, 2020. Real name Adolfo Bersiano was an Italian Canadian professional wrestler and promoter, better known by the ring name Dino Bravo. After training under Gino Brito, he started his career in Montreal in the 1970s. Bravo's size and athletic ability made the Montrealer a big name in the local wrestling scene. The Italian strongman, as he was known at the time, was also a part owner regional promotion international wrestling the crazy part of this episode is we still don't know who assassinated dino bravo what a shame what could have been for this great quebecer and canadian rest in peace dino number four the killing of bruiser brody aired april 24th 2019 the hardest part for me was to digest the feelings from Brody's family and friends and you can tell it still hurts considerably after 30 years and there will be probably no closure with this matter especially from Barbara and Jeffrey Frank's widow and son while they have a garage full of some of their old stuff Jeffrey's comments about wanting some personal justice and Barbara refusing to name Gonzalez and you can tell how much it pains them to even talk about this situation. Justice wasn't served here. And Frank, you are truly a legend. Professional wrestling, we miss you, buddy. What was cool for me is that we interviewed Drew Onyx, who portrayed Abdullah the Butcher in this episode of Dark Side of the Ring. Check out our interview with Drew Onyx on our YouTube channel and see what he had to say about this epic, epic episode of Dark Side of the Ring. Rest in peace, Frank. You will be missed by all professional wrestling fans around the world. Number three, Benoit Part One, Part Two, aired March 24th, 2020. Chris Benoit was known as the Crippler during his time as a professional wrestler and the shocking deaths of he and his family in the summer of 2007 nearly crippled the entire industry. A good portion of part one is also spent on Benoit's close friendship with Eddie Guerrero, as well as Guerrero's 2005 death. The friendship between the two men is well known. And as a wrestling fan myself, I will never forget the final scene of WrestleMania 20 in Madison Square Garden, as both Benoit and Guerrero embraced WWE's two world champions at the same time at that same event. I will never forget it. And I will never forget Chris Benoit, a great Canadian nonetheless. In my opinion, Chris Benoit might go down as the greatest wrestler to never be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. A lot of people might hate me for that. A lot of people hate on Chris Benoit, but to me, as a wrestler, he was at the top of my list. Number two. The Final Days of Owen Hart aired May 19th, 2020. Obviously, what's most notable about this episode is the brand new candid interview footage with Owen Hart's widow, Dr. Martha Hart, as well as their two children. While Martha Hart did write a book about Owen, she and her immediate family have largely stayed silent and out of the public eye for the last 21 years since the tragedy. I think it speaks to this show's exceptional quality that producer Evan Husney and director Jason Eisner were able to bring in Hart's widow and children for this episode to finally bring their side of the story to the forefront. Over the course of the last 21 years, there really hasn't been any type of legitimate documentary about Owen Hart, his career, or even what happened on May 23, 1999. That makes this episode pretty unique along with the presence of Owen's family. If anything, this episode of Dark Side of the Ring feels like a strong cautionary tale about a career in wrestling. If wrestlers do not feel 
comfortable or safe in performing a certain type of stunt their bosses want them to do, they should immediately have the opportunity to speak up and refuse to do so without punishment, period. No matter what side you fall on in the aftermath of this tragedy, this is a documentary that every person who watches wrestling or has heard of Owen Hart needs to see at some point. Rest in peace, Owen. You will never, ever be forgotten about. And my number one Dark Side of the Ring episode is The Montreal Screwjob, aired April 17th, 2019. And it's very special to me because I am from Montreal and I lived through this screw job and this episode combined video footage some tasteful filmed reenactments and first-hand accounts of the tale from Bret Hart himself WWE producer Bruce Pritchard former WWE creative team members Jim Cornette and Vince Russo WCW director Eric Bischoff and the matches referee poor Earl Hebner you screwed Bret you screwed Bret Noticeably missing are the accounts from Brett's final WWF opponent, Shawn Michaels, and WWE owner, Vince McMahon. And we will probably never, and I mean never, get the story out of Vince McMahon. I can guarantee you that. And in my opinion, the most interesting part of this is the real life and still active hatred between Jim Cornette and Vince Russo, who were both a part of the creative planning in WWF at the time, both claiming responsibility for this idea and both have pretty compelling stories about it. Who was telling the truth? Who is lying? We will never know. But to understand the screw job even more, you must first understand what kayfabe is. As Jim Cornette explains in this episode, the term kayfabe refers to the practice of performing as your character and sticking to the scripted storyline. Whenever a wrestler lets reality creep in and spoil the illusion, it is known as breaking kayfabe. And that's exactly the type of situation we have with the Montreal Screwjob, or so most people think. The Montreal Screwjob is one of the most infamous tales in modern wrestling history. It flung the door wide open to the fact that professional wrestling is a business and like any business absurd decisions are sometimes made i'd highly recommend watching this episode of dark side of the ring whether you're a wrestling fan or not and and in my opinion vince screwed brett hands down thanks for tuning in to my top five episodes from the dark side of the ring season one and season two look out for season three coming out i cannot wait to watch them and i can't wait to tell you about my top five episodes from season three if you want to know more about the dark side of the ring we interviewed a plethora of wrestlers on our podcast joe foe in the ring we interviewed drew onyx who portrayed abdullah the butcher sabu who is featured in season three of dark side of the ring and of course the godfather who was in the brawl for all episode and they spoke candidly about their experience with dark side of the ring so check out our youtube channel and subscribe like and share and comment and remember wrestling is life